Tim, what do you look for early on? Well, I'm going to look for the game plan right now from, from both fighters. And he just, just got a little look at Pedraza. He saw Pedraza pull straight back. So Lomachenko will come around you from that side. And right. Likes to rock to his right. Oh, there's a left hand from Lomachenko. And then Lomachenko against a two-division world champion. The press, the action. Loma. Loma's just sitting back. That night scored a knockdown in the 11th round. Beat him badly in the 12th round. Taking his attention downstairs, landing a nice loose, sneaky right hand to the body. Boxer, the great pedigree that he's trying to figure out. Comes in with a lead left hand. This, but the second and third shot may have a chance. Two, two here, lightweight unification bout. Hey! And had Salito hurt at the end, was sweeping the late rounds, but it was too little too late, and that's the one blunt. We have not seen the right hook. There's Loma, and there's the footwork. Remember, he's coming. It's not just the victory. It's the manner of victory. Body work from Pedraza here. You've got to use your length. You've got to stay more active and use angles. Hit. I still got a pretty close fight here. It is a close fight. But you see, he planted the seed already. And now he closes that gap. Let's go. Which is... Loma coming around his right side and then shooting the right or left uppercut to the body. There's a short left hand on the inside there from Lomachenko. And then right there. Throw that right hand down the middle. Arms. He needs to get close to work. Lomachenko. Short arms with quick hands. Short arms, quick hands. That's why he goes southpaw sometimes. But listen, this is a pretty skilled guy in his own right. That was some of the I just I want to give Pedraza. Oh. I mean, if he distinguishes himself tonight, you're talking the family of Tito Trinidad, Miguel Cotto, and beyond. As all work rate and what he was able to accomplish here in round number five, Pedraza. I like it as well. His work rate has to be high because he has to keep this boy up off of him. I'll tell you what, Pedraza does not look like right now. Two guys are in the ring. All it takes is one punch. I defer to you on gambling matters, but fired <laughs> off a short left hand that just was off the mark, but that's not. He likes to get himself in position where he can hit you. I think that's what makes him such a fan favorite and such an exciting guy to watch is he will make the fight. He will be. But at least once or twice around, you get these left hands out of. Influential figures in boxing. Anatoly Lomachenko. He had buzzed it. He in the camp. What did the father tell you? When did this start? He goes, there's Loma with the combination. There it is again. Three punch combination from Lomachenko. Keep him up. Loma to close the gap on him. We're returning from. Nice looping left hand right there by Pedraza. As for cuts of the body and tried to come back with a right hand as Loma continues to take short steps forward and then goes to the body himself. And now a good exchange. Pace a bit. And a three punch combination from Lomachenko. Just missed with a left hand and Pedraza backs him up. Milf was a great amateur. We talked so much about Lomachenko, one of the all-time great amateurs. He represented Puerto Rico in the 2008 Olympic Games with Bernardo. You know, Luis Espada said, stay far away from him. Make the going down to the body of Loma. There's a body shot in with all that pressure. There he goes with a right hand to the body. He got just under the left elbow of Pedraza. But Pedraza... Think about where we were... A year when he went to the body, he slowed him down. Um. It's pretty much the still same thing going on. Loma trying to get. Is he satisfied? I don't know that he's ever satisfied. And now Pedraza. Back and you watch tape, and something we've noticed before too. Every so often, Loma may call out to the referee, distract you, and then throw a punch. And he needs to let his hands go and be a little bit more consistent and be solid with his defense. See how his head is moving everywhere? He might as well put his hands in his pocket because he's not being an analyst like I do. Oh, good uppercut from Loma that time. Quitting from the drama tonight. No. We were here a year ago where he overwhelmed his own expectations. There's a right hand to the body from Pedraza. I'm curious to know, do you... Are you impressed by Loma tonight? Which, right. 
that become his signature punches. I have to agree with you, Mark. So maybe you. Left hand and then tries to chase him down. Pedraza fires back. Understand that. That happened back in January of 2017 in Brooklyn with Ray Beltron to win this belt. I think Pedraza has been a very difficult opponent. Good left hand from Lomachenko and then he backs it up and steps in and lands the combination. And he the best of Pedraza. Uppercut comes in. Look at the accuracy from Lomachenko. Another uppercut at short distance. Scores with a massive uppercut. What a dominating performance here. And down goes Pedraza. Out to finish. 20 seconds for the great Lomachenko to work here. Second knockdown score. Is it? Hey! He survived. 42 by Lomachenko. 42 is the one punch you didn't see in that onslaught. Was the right he can. Loma's taking his attention downstairs to the body to set up and to deliver from the last round. And the question now becomes can Pedraza. Loma trying to corral him. He's quick. Going to make it to the finish line. The man, he was almost thrown. Vasily Loma. 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 Chenko!